Hey guys. So today I come to you barefaced because I got this doesn't even look like that much. And when I had it all unpackaged, I was like, how is this over 200 pounds worth of products? To be fair, each eyeliner and lip liner is about 26, 28 pounds. Like it is nuts, but it's worth it. Like this is a collection I have genuinely been so excited for. Like, I will say I've really, really been getting much more back into playing with makeup again. There's the Adept eyeshadow palette that I'm obsessed with. I got a uh, Made by Mitchell liquid eyeshadow that I've been obsessed with as well. Uh, just as a topper to almost every single eye look if I can't be asked to use the Adept one. Um, but this, this palette, I was so excited about. I've been really actually enjoying Natasha Denona, like these smaller, more affordable, they're still at 50 quid. This is one of the prettiest frigging palettes. I love it. So I want to just sit and play. It took me like three weeks to do that video, to do all the research, film, edit, get all the clips. And with the heat as well, and I had a family member that went into hospital, I just didn't want to stretch myself way, way, way too thin because I knew I'd just end up making myself sick. So that's why today I just want to do something really chill and I just want to play with some makeup today. I know not all of you come to my channel for makeup videos so I appreciate anyone that just sticks around for this. I have the three eyeliners. I also bought the new concealer hence why I have no base whatsoever on today because I want to try this out. I also got the I Need A Nude Glow Highlighter. This is like the super glow. I did a quick swatch yesterday. It looks very similar to my Pat McGrath Holy Grail highlighter so I'm excited about that and then I also got a lip liner which is not new but I've really been enjoying the I need a nude lip liners from Natasha so I want to do that as well I'll throw on some eyeshadow primer and then we'll get to playing I want to use a lot of colors today I'm going to try and fit as many on as possible because these mattes and especially this color is just calling my name so I'm going to use I'm not even going to try and pronounce these I'm going to use like the khakia sort of color I'm going to use that like in the inner part Casper has been very, very codependent. You want to come up? Hi, do you want to come up? I have no idea what sort of look I'm going for, but I just want to play with colours today. Okay, and then I'm going to take the citrine shade. I thought this was called the Yucca palette, but it's called Yucca, which is really confusing. I'm going to put that right at the top. I really should have done this the other way around. It's okay. What you doing? I know what you're doing. Good boy. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I have no look in mind. Pass that citrine, whatever's left over, just to soften that cocky shade. The one that's giving me like a maybe like a little bit of a halo, but not quite. Oh my god, freaking cat hair all over these brushes. The tipu shade here, and I'm just gonna follow that along. I kind of want to also see if there's any kind of difference in these colours, or they're just kind of blending in to be the same. Oh, hello. Yeah, see, I don't see a huge difference. That is, like, slightly brighter. I'm just going to use that Arabica shade again, and I'm going to put that over here as well, just to give me kind of definition. I don't know how well you can see on this camera. I'm going to take the more orangey shade up here, more of a nectarine shade. I'm just going to go over the top of the that lightly, just to make sure it's nice and blended, and just give this, like, halo of orange. That kind of goes with my hair. These all blend really nicely, even with the friggin' mess I did in my inner corner. <laughs> Sorry, it'll all come together, I know it will. This is one, I feel like this is one of those palettes where it doesn't matter what look you do, it's gonna look good, because all the colours are just so friggin' pretty. Okay, I'm then gonna take the Willow shade, Teal Blue. Ooh, press that, and I don't know how well you can see that. The pan is really loose. I'm hoping it doesn't come out. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's... This corner's like lifted up. Maybe the magnet isn't great or something. I'm just gonna start putting this willow shade on this corner. There's something about this pop of blue that is so pretty with these colours. I mean, I wouldn't automatically have put these kind of colours with this blue. Like, this blue does seem slightly random for the rest of these colours, but it is so pretty with them. I'm gonna use this. This shade is me, this like taupey colour. That is me in an eyeshadow. I'm gonna put that on over most of my lid. I thought that shade goes really well with that teal. There's a girl I watch on YouTube for Natasha Denona reviews, and she just did a really good review on this palette. She said that she doesn't really understand this taupey colour being in there, but 
actually i love cool tone shades with my slightly warmer tones i think it's gorgeous okay and then i'm gonna use i'm just gonna connect that taupe with gray which is like this color here i told you i made a complete freaking mess and that actually looks like a very cohesive eye look this actually looks like it was planned <laughs> so i'm just gonna blend the top of that and the willow shade so I'm going to put on some primer, my foundation, I'm then going to come back for the concealer. Okay, so I know I look weird, but it's obviously because I've only just got my foundation on. I just threw on some Collection Lasting Perfection. So I got the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. The packaging is actually really cool. The name is bit is on the side, because I would say that, that that's the front. But it's actually like that. It's kind of weird. Brightening and Hydrate Increase Proof Serum Concealer. I've seen everyone's rave about this. 51% report a significant under eye puffiness reduction, 61% a noticeable dark circle reduction, 80% agree concealer is crease proof, I will be the judge of that. Up to 19 hour wear, I don't know who's wearing their concealer for 19 hours, increases skin hydration. Hydration is meant to be really good for crow's feet I think, so I got shade R2, yeah that looks better than the shade I would normally get. I didn't want to get one too brightening because otherwise that accentuates my fine lines. I'm actually going to put it all the way down just to see if it is hydrating. I love finding new concealers. Sorry, I'm like getting rid of all the light. I'm so sorry. So unaware. That's <laughs> what happens when you're a little bit blind is that you kind of need the mirror to be like that close. I put a little bit extra here because I kind of missed a bit with the sponge when I was putting my foundation on. Okay, I can already see it creasing. It shouldn't really be creasing the second I put it down. Let me turn this down just a little bit. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see, but like my under eye here is already seriously creasing. Okay, let's see what it's like when I set it. I'm gonna set the one that's got huge creases first to really help it along. I'm really trying. Okay. Well, I'll do my the rest of my eyeshadow and we'll see how it goes while I do that. I wanted to use the Camo Camo shade, this super like limey lemon lime sort of colour. And I wanted to put that on my inner corner and kind of like around. Okay, so that doesn't take that much to build up. There's some of these kind of shades that I used a I remember when I originally used the Shane Dawson palette, there's a super bright lemon shade in there. And it was really difficult to build up. I had to build it up about five times to get the pigmentation I wanted. This one, you can get a sort of like a limey shade just with one. There you can see it's kind of limey. But then I put another coat on and it comes a lot more bright. It's a nice shade. Okay, so then I'm going to use uh, Citrine again. And then I'm going to use Arcadia, which was like that khaki kind of colour that I used. And then lastly, I'm going to use the teal to connect everything together. That is the eyeshadow. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit because I feel like you can see the colours better with the ring light less bright. I'm also going to just keep it like this for a sec because I'm going to use eyeliners. These are all shades that are in the palette. So you got like the willow shade, you get camu camu, like that limey shade, and then you get a fushi, which is actually this more orangey shade. I'm going to try and use all of them today in some way, shape or form because I've actually never used her eyeliners before, but I've heard good things. So I'm going to use this limey camu camu shade and I'm just going to go around my inner corner just to really brighten that all up. And then I'm just going to take a little pencil brush and I'm just going to blend this a little bit. And then I'm going to use the Fushi shade on my waterline. I'm just going to use this on like the corner of my eye, this uh, willow shade, to make like a little wing. Not gonna lie, this wing is 100% inspired by Morgan. It's what she did with her eye looks. Yeah, cool. 
Hey, Bubba. So they're nice and creamy. They like glide well, and they've, but they've got enough grip that they kind of they can do nice wings. So I don't know how well you can see, but I've got the orange in my waterline, the citrine around my eye, just to brighten that up even more. The <laughs> smoothie you get your tail in my face. What are you doing? And then the willow there. Okay, so I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup, and then I'll come back for the highlighter and the lip liner. I realised before I put my blush on, I've got to put highlight on. Put on the I Need a Nude highlighter. I think this comes in multiple shades. The embossing on it is really pretty. So pretty. Oh. Hmm. Maybe it just needs a denser brush. This is like a super fluffy one. Let me go get a different brush. Okay, so I got a the small fluff brush because this is more like dense. So ah, see now I can see a bit more pigment. Do you know what? It is not as blinding and as glittery as I thought it was gonna be. In like a good way, in like a Pat McGrath. I don't know, I just don't feel like it's going on my face. Am I going crazy? I've had to dip into this so many times. If I do that, you can see it's very pretty. For some reason I can't get it to go... I mean I can see some highlight, it's just not as intense as I like. Maybe I need to use my finger? I mean I don't normally use my finger. Oh, maybe it's just too dark for me. This just seems a bit, maybe slightly too dark gold? Because like on my nose it looks like I have a stripe. I'll go over that with a bit of foundation. This highlighter was a little disappointing, especially considering the price. So let me just throw some blush on. Just gonna grab my Pat McGrath, you know, keeping it super high end. I will say I got a um a voucher for spending so much money or whatever for the Natasha Denona store, but you had to use it within a week, and I'm like, sorry, I just spent two hundred fucking pounds. What makes you think I'm gonna use a not like six pound voucher or something within a week? Maybe it's like a twenty pound voucher, but either way, I'm just like, I'm not gonna spend any more just for maybe one product. So lastly, I have the lip liner. I already have a bunch of these, but I wanted to try another one because. I love my one so much, but it's just a little bit dark. This one is in the shade Stormy. My perfect cool tone brown. <laughs> this is perfect. Trying to find cool tone lip liners is so hard. I feel like you have to go to high end. Any affordable brands do not have them, like, at all. All in all, this palette is incredible. I love the colours, the actual palette itself. I think the the shades are gorgeous. Like, I'm going to be reaching for this so much to play with different colours. And the eyeliners that go with it, I swatched on my hand the other day, yesterday, sorry, and the blue is actually still there. I thought blue's like stuck to a scratch or something. Yeah, they stayed on my hand basically the whole day, like even just through washing my hands. I um, really like the creaminess, I really like the glide of them, and they're very very unique shades, like I don't have an orange like this, obviously I do not have a lime like this, and I probably have something similar to this teal, but this goes so perfectly with the palette, so absolutely adore these. Uh, the lip liner, oh my god, this nude, it's actually probably a bit too cool for these eyes, still adore this colour. So glad I got it. The problem was with the Natasha Nona website, it was hard to see the colours. But anyone that loves cool tones, Stormy. It's brilliant. And then the highlight was disappointing. Like, why is that hardly showing? Up? It's showing a bit more. And I will show that it's not showing any texture. I think it's just slightly dark. I think that's what I'm struggling with. I think it's slightly dark for my skin tone. But it's still really pretty. Concealer, I almost forgot. So, I actually really like the Dofa. I think the, the shade I got is really nice. But this crease... Maybe I just need to play with it a little bit more. Can you see that? You can already see that crease. I mean, this eye, I've got really big lines under, as you can see. And this genuinely accentuates them, so I'm going to try it a few more times. I've been struggling with some concealers recently. The only ones that really, really don't accentuate is my collection, my Tarte Shape Tape, and my Milani. Everything else, and I'm not even kidding, every other concealer I've tried, I have this exact same effect. So I'm not saying this is necessarily a bad concealer. I'm just saying if you have deep set lines like I do, I mean, I've only had this on like for 
20 minutes. I will say, I put this on the centre, down my nose and on my chin, and actually, considering this is a hydrating concealer, it looks a little dry. Hmm. I'm going to play around with this more. This is a natural light. Can you see? That's the creasing, this concealer. Not great. And I've only had this on for like two hours. Love this eyeshadow though. I'm obsessed. You can really see the colours now. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to please like and subscribe if you like it. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and playing with some makeup. It's been a while. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!